tripod standards have finally changed. Gone are the days where you have to endlessly click on and off the locks on the legs of the tripod. I picked up another tripod to help film YouTube videos and saw one with a unique feature that promises to change this annoying clicking. And I want to share it with you today. This video is not sponsored by Neewear, but let's review the new tripod. No, no, not that one. I didn't spend $2,500 on this tripod. I only spent $99. But I believe it's just as important in the world of tripods. How many of you love locking and unlocking the legs on your tripod? Me neither. I've always hated the locks on tripods. They were a necessary evil. Some tripods even have up to four or five stages of locks per leg. Yes, I know this is to provide a more compact design, but the experience is just not enjoyable. Introducing the newer TP61. For only $99, it includes a twist lock mechanism. And before you think, you've heard of this before, no, it's not the twist locks that you may have seen on tripods that have a twist lock for each stage in the leg. This is different, and in my opinion, much better. This new mechanism only requires a single step to unlock and lock each leg to your desired height. In fact, there are detents that you can feel while unlocking the leg. It's not perfect, but this allows you to unlock individual detents and pull the leg to that length. There are a few other tripods that have a similar mechanism, but I don't know who was really first. All I know is that this is definitely a great change in the right direction. Most of the other tripods use a weird term to describe the mechanism, and I admit that I didn't really know what those terms were until I reached out to Newer and asked them about the TP61. Some companies call it an eccentric tube locking structure, or eccentric tube design while others call it a twist lock leg lock. Manfrotto's design is patented, so I don't know the differences with their system. Newer seems to call their system a twist lock, which more closely resembles Manfrotto's term and makes the most sense because it's what it is, a twist lock. This design might have started for smaller tripods or monopods based on the majority of tripods that have a twist lock, but it is definitely moving into larger tripods like the Manfrotto and a light camera tripod like this newer. It can hold up to 8.8 .8 pounds, which is more than enough for most of my cameras. Will the lock mechanism be reliable? Only time will tell. But the build quality of the rest of the tripod is amazing. After you set up the tripod, you can quickly level the head with the built-in 10 degree bowl mechanism with a bubble level, which is a crazy option to have for such a cheap tripod. They even include this fluid head that costs about $54 separately and is very impressive in how smooth it works. I've had some fluid heads that are absolute junk. It has some other more typical features like raising the center column, removing the center column and attaching it upside down, a bag hook, a detachable plate that I installed my Manfrotto quick release to instead, and the clickable detents on the top of each leg. Okay, some negatives. The detents are a bit inconsistent, so I don't rely on them to stop the leg at a particular length, and the lock feels a little gritty sometimes when tightening, so I do worry about reliability, but I don't know. And I personally never use the standard Arca plates because I want a faster system, but that's not really a negative to the system. All of my cameras use the Manfrotto quick release plate system. I'll leave links in the description below if you're curious to check them out. 
Quick note, the TP61 is normally $109, but I received a 10% off deal that day on Amazon. I think Neewer's website has 20% off though. I'll include their links below. Competition drives better products for us all. So here is to seeing the next amazing innovation for tripods. What do you think? Are you skeptical? Have you used one already? What is your favorite tripod and why? Or tripod feature? If you have any questions or thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe for more videos like this. And thanks so much for joining. See you in the next video.